Hello and welcome to DFS Coach Talk. I'm Josh Davis, also known as Crash. Today is Thursday, April 7th, 2022, also opening day. So really excited to get into this Major League Baseball slate with you guys. Um, before we get started, if you want to join us, we're at DFSCoachTalk.com. We're also on Twitter at DFS Coach Talk. I'm at JP Davis 1982. Um, Give us a like, uh, subscribe if you're new to our channel. Uh, we'd love to have you as a member, and let's go ahead and get into this slate. Um, for me, for the first thing that I'm going to look at today is going to be my top pitcher play. Um, on on FanDuel, it's going to be Corbin Burns. He's 11200 which I know is really expensive. Um, I think he's the highest pitcher on the slate that's left because we had injuries to Jacob deGrom. Uh, and then we had the postponement of the Yankees game with Garrett Cole. Um, so the 2021 National League Cy Young winner Corbin Burns is the clear top payup option for me on FanDuel today. Uh, he pitched eight innings and threw 15 strikeouts in his last start in Wrigley Field in August last year. Um, DraftKings doesn't have this game, so this is going to be a FanDuel only play. And uh, the weather is supposed to be in the low 40s today, so that should be, you know help Burns as well. Um, on DraftKings, my favorite pitcher is going to be Max Freed. He's 9,000 over there. He's at home facing a Reds team that traded away some of their best bats this offseason. Um, Nick Castellanos joined the Phillies in free agency, and Jesse Winker and Eugenio Suarez were both traded to Seattle. Um, so he's going to be looking to pick up where he left off last year as he helped lead the Braves to the, you know, the World Series championship. Uh, in game six, striking out six and six innings in a seven nothing win to win the World Series. Um, for value, I'm actually looking at Adam Wainwright. He's 8,000 on FanDuel, 7,500 on DK. In his last four starts against Pitt, uh, Pittsburgh, um, last year he threw seven innings with five strikeouts for 46 FanDuel points, eight innings with nine strikeouts for 61 FanDuel points. He had a complete game with seven strikeouts for 58 FanDuel points and six innings with eight strikeouts for 49 FanDuel points. The Pirates, they ranked 25th in batting average at 236 last season, and they hit the least amount of home runs, uh, 124, which was 120 less than the second fewest that the Diamondbacks had. And um, they didn't really you know, do a whole lot this offseason to change their roster, so they have a lot of the same guys this year. And so I think that this is a good spot for Adam Wainwright. I really like him today, uh, which leads me to my first play on prize picks. Um, if you're not on prize picks yet, I highly recommend it. It's prizepicks.com. Make sure you use promo code coach talk and you will get a hundred percent match up to a hundred dollars on your first deposit. So definitely join prize picks. If you haven't already, if you have joined it already, hopefully you've been, on the money train with us as we've been crushing it um, as we, you know, on, on our NBA plays and obviously you're going to start crushing it here on MLB. Um, but my, my top or my first, you know, prize picks play is going to be Adam Wainwright over four strikeouts. As I mentioned, he went over that number in all four of his starts against the pirates last year. And um, I will say though, that we're going to have to be a little careful with these strikeout props with the national league pitchers because they added the, the uh, designated hitter this year and so they probably won't be able to rack up as many strikeouts as they have in the past with you know not being able to face the pitchers now but i still like this prop at over four strikeouts i think he gets well over that number um it was four and a half so it's moved down so I, i'm not sure why it's moved down i guess the industry's thinking that he's not going to get there but i do think he will get there um pretty comfortably so i definitely like the over here at four strikeouts uh, back to the DFS plays, um, my fade pitcher today on FanDuel is actually going to be Shohei Otani. He's 10500 on FanDuel. He's 7000 on DraftKings. He's got a tough matchup um, against the reigning AL champs and the Houston Astros. On DraftKings, I think he's still in play in your GPPs, especially at only 7000 but he's 3500 more on FanDuel, and I'm not going to pay 10500 for him in that tough of a matchup. Um, my BVP, which is batter versus pitcher, for those who aren't familiar with that term, hitter of the day, is going to be Andrew Benintendi. He's 2,900 on FanDuel, 4,100 on DK, so a better value on, on FanDuel, obviously. But 
He's faced Shane Bieber 17 times. He's hit 563 against him with nine hits and a home run. So I definitely like Andrew Benintendi. I hope he's going to be loaned. I think he will be, and he's going to be a great GPP play for me. Uh, for my second prize picks play of the day, I'm looking at David Peralta. I'm going to take the over at five and a half fantasy points. He's batting 409 against you Darvish in 24 plate appearances with nine hits and three home runs. Uh, he hit seven of his eight home runs last year against right-handed pitchers. So I definitely like him at home in the season opener against you Darvish. Uh, my top stacks of the day are going to be the St. Louis Cardinals, primarily Goldschmidt, O'Neill, Arenado, the young, those will be my, you know, the power righties. Those will be my favorite plays on the Cardinals. And then on the Mets, I also like their righties uh, with of course, Alonzo, um, Lindor, J.D. Davis, if he's in the lineup, I'm not sure if he's in the lineup, we'll have to check on that. And then Starling Marte, who they added this offseason. And then for my home run call of the day, um, I'm going to be giving the home run call every day this year during, during the MLB season. So my home run call for today is going to be the 2021 home run derby champ, um, Pete Alonzo. He's 3,600 on FanDuel, 4,800 on DraftKings. He's faced Patrick Corbin 30 times. He's batting 333 against him with 10 hits, including four home runs. And um, he hit 16 home runs and 199 plate appearances versus lefties in 2021. So for opening day, that is it, guys. Um, please leave a comment in the uh, in the comment section for me. Like I said, give, it, give us a like and subscribe. And uh, we're looking forward to crushing it this MLB season. Thank you.